Playbacks. Today is Monday, October 17th, and as of today, we are both 26 and 5 6 years old. So we're almost there. We're almost to 27. Since it's what I've been working on a lot lately, I figured today I would talk about the costume I'm working on, which is Sheena from the game Tales of Symphonia. Sheena. Oh gosh, this is a big mess of stuff. All right, so here's the picture of her. Um, as you can see, one of the elements of the costume is this ginormous pink bow. So that was actually the first thing I did. My room is not big enough for videos, but anyways, can you see it almost? Yes, you can. To make this bow, I actually used a tutorial that I found on the cosplay.com forums. I will put a link in the doobly-doo. This part of the bow, the poofy part, is actually basically a pillow. Um, then you measure out like how wide you want this middle part and just make a loop around it and stuff your pillow through it. And then the tails, you just measure how long you want them. Just hem the edges, that's all it is, just one layer. And then slide it through this hole, but you know, on the other side. And so that's all that was. Um, it was pretty easy and you know, now I want to do so and if it has an even bigger bow so I can have like a good sized travel pillow for my costumes because that just seems pretty cool. Pants are self-explanatory. They're black pants. Shirt is a shirt. Then we have this sort of kimono part and some gloves. Alright, for the kimono itself, I use pattern 5343 from Simplicity, which I don't think exists anymore. But there you go. So I'm glad I bought that. Who knows how long ago. Um, it was really easy. It's one piece for the back, you know, just cut along the fold of the fabric. So one big, pretty much rectangular, square, whatever piece. Um, one piece for each side of the front. And then there's a piece here going down the front with, um... I can't think of the name of this stuff. The thicky stuff. Oh my gosh interfacing there we go okay so and that's going to be kind of folded like that when it's done so it won't be quite as long it's not going to be a ginormous collar so kimono is pretty simple you probably don't really need a pattern if you know your measurements and stuff you know what you want it to be stay on there as for her gloves a lot of people opt to do like the gloves as you know just like arm warmer kind of things I decided to just make them part of the sleeve of the kimono just for the sake of simplicity so I don't have to worry about like a white shirt and a black shirt and figuring out how that was gonna work so this is all one sleeve um, this is where my fingers are gonna be like that there's gonna be a little bit of elastic in here so that it'll be tighter around there and not just hanging whatever so yeah so basically I'm going to put something around here and like fold it back I'm not sure what that would be called a double fold that's a phrase I don't want to use um, but it'll be basically purple covering this area that's why the seam is totally on the wrong side because I'm going to be covering it and then I will just like so up the side and over here and it'll be closed up and good and yeah so that's that for the kimono Bex I will see you on Wednesday but um but um but um but um but um but um but um